Hi guys, uh, welcome to Aditya RP Academy. In the last video, we have seen about decision stage. Uh, the decision stage can flow either, you know, uh, can take sort of either race or no, only like a two ways. If you have any multiple decisions, by that time, we'll go to like, you know, child stage. <coughs> Simply stage is an extension, extended version of the decision stage. Now, the functionality of a choice stage is an exactly the same as a decision, decision stage. The process flow depends on the condition. And it will allow you to set only, you know, the decision stage will allow you to set only two conditions which are true or false. So that the process can take only one, one of the path. If you have any more, if you have like more than two conditions and the process has chosen more than two paths, that's where the child stage comes. This is exactly the same as switch any programming language. And in the canvas, now you can see the arrow mark, in the, that is one, you know, uh, choice stage. And the child stage always comes with, all, you know, another, uh, it, will, it will bring another stage called like, you know, otherwise. So it can be yes or no. If it is otherwise, we'll go to that direction. Or if it is, you know, if it is okay, it goes like another. Now we'll see uh, the properties, the child properties uh, window. If you double click on like, you know, child stage, the child start stage, and uh, you know, you can see the child properties uh, window. There you can see like a name, description, and next uh, choice name, choice criterion, and uh, the bottom of the screen, you can see like an you know, add or remove. Means we can add like you know, multiple choice names and multiple decisions. And here you can see the decision, like you know, function builder also. Next, now I, you know, I, I'm giving an example about um, you know, uh, the choice stage. And <coughs> the choice, I'm giving like you know, five directions. And if the five directions are you know okay, and it goes like you know, otherwise, if, the, uh, if, these direc if these conditions are not fulfilled, it will you know it will take otherwise direction. And next, will provides an easy way uh, to branch the flow of your process. And next, and uh, in the example uh, scenarios in which this facility may be useful to include the case in which different actions required, depending on the type of bank account in question or the case in which a different job needs to be selected from a queue, depending on the business rule, business rules in a place. The properties form of the choice stage presents a list inf into which you may enter your choice criteria. Each row in the list may be given a friendly name and must be given a ch choice criterion. And the choice, m you know, the criterion must be yes or no decision, and as may be entered in the decision stage. The choice criterion may be typed indirect, in, you know, in directly or in a flag that item may be dragged into the criterion field from the data item explorer or uh, in a complicated expression may be constructed using a pop-up expression builder available from the button towards the bottom of the form and the rows may be recorded using a move up and move down uh, buttons this is important because when the process is run and it's a you know is the first yes or no choice criterion which evaluates it to uh, true that determines the branch down which the process will flow and next the you know <coughs> each choice criterion will evaluate in term in turn starting from the top working downwards as soon as one row evaluates is true the process flows down the corresponding branch without stopping to evaluate any further rows and for this reason you should think carefully about which order you you enter your choice criteria, and you, you know you may order you may reorder them afterwards. Even afterwards, you, may, you can reorder, you know, move up and move down. So buttons. Anyway, thank you for watching a uh, video. In please stay, <coughs> please stay with us for further videos. Thank you.